I can just about guarantee you your next smartphone is going to be 4G. But the question is, which one? Aside from it not being Apple, that's not even possible right now. There's a whole lot to choose from. I'm Brian Cooley, here to help with the top five 4G smartphones according to CNET Editor's Ratings. Number five is the LG Spectrum. It's got the formula. LTE 4G, dual core processor, four and a half inch display, and HD video in and out. You can just about take that entire menu for granted with all the phones on this list, and the Spectrum hits them all. Part of what makes it on the bottom rung of this ladder, though, is the somewhat inconsistent quality of calls and photos. And we found the way that LG skins Android to be, um, interesting. Number four, the HTC ReSound. Aside from those usual smartphone super phone features, here we've got an 8 megapixel camera, pretty cool, and built-in Beats audio technology, along with an included pair of Beats earbuds. On the other hand, this phone's a chunky piece of work, and call quality isn't its best quality. Still, it's a strong phone for Verizon subs, and for those who want to hear music more than folks calling them. Number three, the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket. Four and a half inch screen, the Skyrocket's got great technology behind it. It's a Super AMOLED Plus. That's code for relatively incredible. It's also one of the very few phones out there that has an NFC or near field communications chip. So it's ready for those coming swipe to pay services everyone's gaga about. Now this being an AT&T phone, we're a little concerned about the pace of their 4G rollout. So check that in your area first, because nothing will make you look dumber than having a 4G phone with 3G service. Number two, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus on Verizon. This phone almost needs no introduction to phone geeks. It's the first in the US to run the red hot Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich and does so on Verizon's well-regarded network. That's a pretty serious one-two punch. Other phones will get to 4.0 soon, maybe even by the time you see this. But we're also a little puzzled by the lack of Google Wallet wireless payment support in a phone so loved and favored by Google. Okay, the number one 4G smartphone we love, and remember, iPhone not available as 4G yet, is the Droid Razor Max. You'll want to make friends with the brawny towel guy if you buy this one because it takes hands that big to grip this CNET editor's choice. But that's because it's unique in its passion for battery life. It's got a huge battery built in. We got around 20 hours of call time and about an equal amount of non-stop video playback on a single charge. That's coast to coast three times without plugging in. Call quality was so good, some folks told us they didn't believe we were on a cell phone or couldn't even tell when we switched to its speaker phone. No worry battery life and great call quality. Two things you gave up on years ago. They're back. Okay, for all the reviews on these great 4G phones, many others that come out all the time and eventually a 4G iPhone, check out the cell phone section at CNET.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everybody's talking about. See it every Friday in high def at cnet.com slash buzzreport.